Alright everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 simple redstone clocks that are pretty awesome. This is the first redstone video I've ever done, so if you enjoy it, leave a like. And I have a few, leave a like and subscribe, and I have a few more planned. If this video hits the like goal of 20 likes, if we get 20 likes on this video, I'm going to do another redstone video. So either way, let's hop right into it with the first redstone clock. These two are practically the same. Um, you turn it on by doing that, and, um, you need two redstone dust on this side, two redstone dust on this side, and, um, two repeaters, each facing a different direction. If you want it to go f faster, um, you have to break the redstone. Take the redstone, place it again and change the amount of ticks that are on these repeaters. And then it can go faster or slower if you want. This is basically the same, but it can go up to it can go up to 8 ticks if we time it right. Then this can go really slowly compared to that other one, and to stop it you just kind of turn it on and then turn it all off and then it'll stay on because that redstone clock is scuffed. This redstone clock is a duo torch burnout which sounds very complicated but essentially it isn't. If we flick this leather lever up top these pistons push those and these torches flick at the speed of like five billion flicks per second and we can take a signal from both of these and if we put it together it's just too strong too quick of a pulse but yeah um this is a really crazy clock this works cuz this red this block gets powered by this redstone dust which turns off this torch which power which unpowers this block, which temporarily unpowers this, and it all cycles. So when this isn't on, this torch, torch turns on, but this torch is on there so that it works. See, with this, it just burns out. It goes too quick, but with this, it keeps it going, and that is the duo torch burnout clock that, if we remove this... You can just flip this back up, and yeah, it'll turn off. These are two hopper clocks. How this works is the comparator detects when there's an item in the hopper. This this will get really technical, but like... So there's a, an item here. Currently the hopper is locked, but if we flick this lever, it'll unlock, and it'll occasionally go on and off. You need this repeater here, otherwise the signal strength isn't strong enough. This is a longer, this is an etho clock. It won't change until half these items filter through. And um, so you can make this go for up to like five minutes if you attach it to another. And you can pretty much go like really long amounts of time. Like if you want to give someone like a minute to complete a challenge. Like here we go, we're about to hit the full stack in here. And then it switches. So then, um, basically you can take a redstone signal out of this redstone block and power whatever you want with it once it turns on. Our next clock is a really great one. It can be kind of undependable if you unload the chunks. But um, how this works is the torch powers this block. This block powers that repeater. This repeater powers that, which un turns off the torch for a second and it all just cycles around and when you do this it like hard powers both of those and this turns off um this clock okay this clock might break your game if you don't have a very strong like switch or memory card but it is fast because, like, what happens is this powers this redstone, which powers this, which pushes it. And then it turns off and the sticky piston pulls it back. 
and it does all that all again. Do not leave this running for too long, otherwise it will lag out your game. This is my favorite clock. This is the, um... I'll just show you. This does this, and you can just take your hands off of it. You can take redstone output from, <laughs> from the, um... From the pressure plates... You can also have, like, an armor stand ride it, but let's be real. It's so much more fun to ride it yourself. <laughs> oh, that's the home button. This might break it. Nope. See? It's dependable, too. This is a player-powered redstone clock. No redstone torches were harmed in the making of this clock. This is a pretty good one. Um, if you turn this powered rail on, then... If you ride, if, if you ride in the minecart, if you, this is a weird one. If you're not riding in the minecart, it just kind of ends up slowing down. But if you're in the minecart, it actually ends up going much faster. So this is another player-powered one, which are some of my favorites, <laughs> and it's hilarious. Look, look, we zoom in, we zoom in. Bonk. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites. This is a comparator clock. This is a kind of complicated one. What happens is the signal... So, e comparators have this thing called subtract mode. That's when you turn this little thing on. Look, I can turn that off and on. Off and on, off and on, off and on. See this little thing? It turns off and on. If it's on, that means it's in subtract mode. And it outputs however much signal goes into it minus however much comes from the side. So if we have it coming out and going straight into the side, it'll just continue to loop. Like, it'll output and then it'll take it away. And then it'll output and then it'll take it away because it's a quick pulse. And it'll continue to output and take it away. Forever. The reason we need these two is because the signal strength goes around it actually only subtracts two. And it only extracts 13 instead of the full 15 that comes out of this lever because of these two. But, um, yeah, it is, it is fast. Oh, what is in there? Oh, yeah. So, um, the theory is here. You go to the concession stand. And they have those things where you fill it up all, where you, like where you like add your condiments all on your own and so you like you got you got your hot dog and you turn turn it on and wait 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 nope that's that's too much wait wait stop it no and then your hot dog is covered in loads of ketchup and mustard or nacho cheese or whatever or whatever you put on it this is one of my, this is my very favorite redstone clock. It's the observer clock, and it's toggleable, it's tileable, it is wonderful. So look, if I flick this lever, it turns this on, and um, it gives an output, which is wonderful. And if you use, like, repeaters, then you can make it tileable, because this doesn't affect this like we can have this on when this isn't and this is great for all kinds of like auto sorting systems and all kinds of stuff like that because like this can turn on this is really easy to build you just need two dispensers facing each other and then when you turn them on this one like senses this one move this one senses that this one moved so it outputs a pulse but they can actually see when another dispense when another observer outputs a pulse. So it outputs a pulse. And then it's and then this one sees that one output a pulse. So it puts out a pulse and it just keeps going. And oh man. Tab. Ba ba. Skaboom. Bam. Done. So, um, yeah, those were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11 awesome redstone clocks. Wait, what? Those were only supposed to be 10. And um, I'm Maroon Sheep 33 That's spoilers for another video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.